good morning. It is, well, it's not too early. It's early for these kids though, but I do have them in the truck. Wifey loaded up with it. What are we doing? One, I'm dropping off, you can't see this. Let's go to this side. Let's go to this other side so you can see this. What I'm dropping off is a 16 4Runner. If anybody needs a black four wheel drive 16 4Runner SR5, I got one and we can make it be yours. But what are we doing? We're going to meet a customer over in Hoover, which is not too far from us. And that black F 150 FX4 is going to be his. The interesting part for you guys is what I'm taking on trade. It's a 2001. 2001 Tundra. Same engine, 4.7. It's a little different series than the GX, but at the heart of it, everything's the same. The parts will interchange. It's not the 2UZ or whatever. Anyway, I'll look it up and see which one it is. But uh, it is supposedly, by the pictures, I got my hand. Oh, that hurt. It's supposedly clean as a whistle. Pictures look really good. And uh, the only thing is, is the risky part for me is it's got 312,000 miles. Now, I know that 312,000 miles is nothing on those engines. Most of you probably know that. But the general customer that's gonna just drive up on my dealership here, they're not gonna know that. So what are we gonna do? I don't know. I don't know how well this one's gonna go for us, but uh, let's load up and make it happen anyway. Alright, we made it. I'm gonna try and block the wind so that it doesn't bother you guys. But uh there you go. 2001, I believe. Oh, sorry. I was looking at this dude. Uh, the seat needs repair, which I mean with 300 and some thousand miles, who wouldn't? I bet if I had that many miles, I'd need some repair too. 313, 282. No check engine lights. Sounds good. So we need to fix that and that. That seat looks good. Rear seats look good. Body's in great shape. What you think about this rust? All this, oh wait, it's a Southern vehicle. There is no rust. So looking good. I'm happy, 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 happy. You'd all be mad at me if you knew how much I had in this truck. It was, hey, it's got a Bilstein on it. Okay. I did not know that. Did it come stock with Bilstein in 01? Surely not. Anyway, the, uh, I gave the seller what he wanted for it. I just, uh, I know I would have never been able to get it for that much at auction. So with that in mind, I may send it to auction. I don't know. Unless one of you just wants it. It's a lot of miles, but by golly, she's in good shape. Good gracious. Let's see if that's movable. It's not. I'm gonna move that up just a hair to get it off of that brake line. Anyway, let's go and unpackage everything for Maverick now. We'll get it on. This is uh, Project Maverick. This one is going to New York. It's already sold. These are all the parts that were uh, custom picked out by Mr. Steven, the customer that's taking this one. So we're getting a Dobinson's MRR lift, three inch. Thinking we might stick with the current wheel setup and this current tire setup. Hasn't given 100% choice on that. Mostly because we're trying to fit a height requirement to make sure it's going to fit in the garage. This one's getting a roof rack from JCR Off-Road. It's here. A roof tent, which is not here yet. we got to make sure that we fit those height requirements. 
Uh, we do have the uh, front differential. We got the uh, adjust the lower kit for relocating it, uh, the correction kit. We've got new bump stops from Dobinson's. Uh, we've got the isolator kit. We've got a whole box full of uh, radio equipment. We're going with a, a new Alpine setup. It's going to integrate with the backup camera. We've got um, different uh, pieces that are going to help make sure that the steering wheel controls still work with the new radio. We've got the seat riser set up from, uh, I think it was, uh, where did we get the seat risers from? Ooh, I figured that one out. I can't remember. We've got the, uh, we've got uh, some recovery points from Treaty Oak, Treaty Oak Off-Road. Uh, we've got a snorkel here from Iron Man. So he's going to get an Iron Man snorkel. Well, we are going with the MRR. I think I may have said that, but the MRR, uh, the uh, Mono 2 Reservoir, uh, the Reserve Reservoir, anyway, with the MRR from Dobinson's. I can't ever remember what the mnemonics it stands for. Uh, but we've got a, uh, we're going with new upper control arms, so I'm going to get to show you guys that. We have them from uh, SBC. We ordered them, ordered these through Toy Tech. Um, man, uh, it's really hard to tell you what all we got going on. We got the full set of under, under armor, underbody armor from ARB. Uh, we've got the, uh, I said the upper control arms, lower control arms are staying stock. We've got the uh, sway bar links. I mean, this one is getting a lot. Uh, that spinny built's going in there. So, got a lot going on with this kit, or this truck, rather. So, it's going to be a really, really cool project. Since I've done a lot of this already, some of this I haven't done. So, I'm going to be giving you videos on the how to's on different parts the roof rack, both Dobinson's bumpers, since I haven't put those on. Probably this MRR lift, even though it's so similar to uh, the other lifts, uh, I'll give you just a little bit of how we adjust it and how to make it what you want it to be. But a lot of it will probably be time lapse, just showing you, because we're trying to get this one done. It's going to be a busy month of April. Uh, most of y'all who follow the channel know that I still work full time, so uh, I just got off a 36-hour shift. If I'm not making a whole lot of sense with my words, a little tired. But uh, we got off of that. I uh, got off this morning, immediately we hopped in the truck and went and got the Tundra that you just saw and dropped off the F-150 that was supposed to happen yesterday. Ah, but FedEx was late. So it was supposed to happen while I was at work. It didn't happen. So we made it happen today. And uh, so we got those. You guys get to see what's fixing to go down. Uh, we're fixing to get a lot done. And Maverick is going to be looking sweet. Uh, this truck, I do want to show you something on it real quick. The, uh, the only thing that and you probably can't tell it i've shown y'all this before somebody you know how these paint flakes so badly can you tell the difference in the colors where the pinstripe is i don't know if you can it's really hard to tell but just a little shade difference in the whites somebody repainted that because the, these white gx is chipped so badly somebody repainted it so we're going to get this one repainted before it gets delivered and the last thing is where these two kiddos are sitting. Hop up, bud. Thank you. Oh, did you hold your bag? Thank you. The drawer system. Uh-oh. I'll show it to you in a minute. But I uh, got a Dobinson's. Yeah, we can watch Baby Shark in a minute. Full drawer system from Dobinson's going in the rear as well. Keeping that covered up until it goes in. It'll probably be the first thing that goes in just so I can get it out of here since it's uh, been unboxed. I had to unbox it because Dobinson shipped like all of that stuff uh, inside the drawer system, which, hey, pretty smart. Saves on space, saves on shipping. But uh, hopefully, we got a lot coming for you guys. And uh, I see I got, uh oh, hey, 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 y'all come back down here. Come back down here. Hey, hey, there you are. So, got a lot going on. Uh, these four guys are probably tired of dealing with me. We're going to go see Mama for a minute. And uh, Mama's at Jiu Jitsu. So I've got to uh, go drop off some trailers. If you didn't know, I sell trailers too. I got a lot going on. But uh, that's all for today. And these guys just like to get in the videos. So here they are. Cooper, say hey. Hey. <laughs> but uh, as always, if you like the videos, 
make sure you hit those buttons like share subscribe all that fun stuff we do thank you for that we wouldn't be where we are without you um we should be getting that first paycheck from uh from youtube very soon and uh like I said, I'm gonna give half of that away to uh, probably a server locally, just somebody as we go. I just like doing that. I used to be a server, so giving away to them is uh, something near and dear to me just because I know how often they don't get tips like they should. And uh, anyway, uh, the uh, last winter at 1500, your check is in the mail. Uh, he decided not to go with the recovery points, but to go with a uh, cash option anyway. So that's in the mail. Sorry, it's delayed. It's been a little bit crazy around here with the weather. What are you doing? <laughs> Y'all are nuts. <sighs> anyway, I'm out of here. And I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful night.